Hi everyone, welcome to this short demonstration video. My name is Jeremy Van Dorn and I've brought along Richard Garshagen and Richard has brought along a big wreck. So Richard, can you explain a little bit about what's in the wreck? Yes, Jeremy, absolutely. Uh, what I actually have here is a, a whole bunch of servers with me. Um, I got uh, lots of servers. I actually have a storage area network together. Uh, and across all these servers, we actually run the VMware Infrastructure 3 product suite. Okay, so VMware Infrastructure 3, that sounds impressive. Can you explain a little bit of how I can use it? Yes, so VMware Infrastructure 3 is really designed to run production server environments. So it really has a lot of functionality built in for high availability, disaster recovery, and really making sure that you can run optimum your production server environments, uh, and of course has the benefit of consolidation. So in my case here, I'm running a lot of virtual machines on just a few physical servers. Okay, so you're running a lot of virtual machines and just these couple of physical servers. Can you show this to me? Yes, absolutely what I can do. What I can actually do here is I can log into my VMware Virtual Center infrastructure client. This is a Windows 32-bit piece of software that I actually have installed on my PC here. And let me log in here as actually as uh, the administrator uh, and with my password. And what you actually will get to see here is actually an overview of all my physical hosts and all my virtual machines. And one of the things that you actually will notice is that you can see here that actually my virtual machines are not tied to my physical hosts. Okay, so we're running all these different virtual machines, but can they also run different operating systems? Yes, yeah, so actually, actually you can run all kinds of different operating systems actually on our environment here. Uh, I mean, let me actually show you. I actually have here a few virtual machines. Uh, as you can see here, actually I have a, on my database servers, I have a, a Solaris virtual machine running. And so let me actually click here on, on remote console. And here you go. You can actually see that I have a, a up and running Solaris virtual machine running as my database server. Um, I also have here a, a terminal server here. And uh, let me see, remote console. Uh, this is actually a, a Windows 2003 terminal server that I'm running. So I can really run any kind of operating system, as long as it's an x86 operating system, across all my virtual machines on just these few physical servers. Okay, so this looks really nice, but say I have a new project, and for instance I need a new web server. Would you be able to provision a new web server for me? That's actually very easy. I can actually very easily create a new virtual machine for you. Uh, let me actually show you an example. I mean, you say you want a web server. I actually can go here to my list of libraries of templates and I actually can just create a new virtual machine for you straight on the fly. So I actually have here already a pre-made template of a web server, and I can just say here, uh, create new uh, virtual machine from this template, and I'll make a new web server. So I'll call it, uh, uh, I mean, Jeremy's uh, web server, um, and I'll make sure it, it gets stored in the right resource pool, I'll make sure it's stored in the right uh, storage environment, um, I'll make sure that all the other settings are properly configured, um, and one of the things I have to do uh, is I have to make sure it is, of course, properly customized as well for, for your needs. So uh, I'll select a customization template that I actually have here for web servers, and I'll, I'll, I'll fill in it as, uh, I mean, Jeremy Jer Web 01. There we go. Um, and actually what I will now do is actually we'll start creating this web server for you straight on the fly. Okay, so I can see this task running, but can you explain what happens underneath? Yeah, so underneath, actually, what we're doing here is that we're using the benefits of a virtual machine. So one of the key benefits of a virtual machine is actually is that a virtual machine is nothing more than just a file instead of actually a physical piece of metal. So by being just encapsulated in a file, if I need a new one, I can actually just copy this file over and I'll get a new virtual machine. Another benefit of a virtual machine is, is that it is completely hardware independent. That means that I can set one virtual machine aside and I can deploy that new virtual machine from that file to any other physical server that I buy independently if that's the same box or a different box of a different brand or a different model it does not matter because a virtual machine is always the same and it, I can run it on any of my physical servers 